Uh, Tinder experiment, 18-year-old woman tries being a man. Well, good luck with that. Just before I get into this video, I've got this feeling that she's going to think it's easy, and it's not easy. It's very difficult to do online dating as a man. I'm going to call up a friend of mine, Sada. I'm going to get her to create a Tinder account using pictures of me. So she's going to create a male account, and then she's going to have the experience of trying to get women on that app to date her. So she might begin to realize that it's more of a sales job. Smart girl, and she's pretty sympathetic to male struggles. So she probably appreciates on a cognitive level that this is not going to be easy, that being a man on one of these dating apps is not easy. But I'm curious to see her journey as she actually goes through the experience of being in a man's shoes and trying to chat up women. All right, let's go ahead and give her a call. Hi, Sada, how are you doing? I'm fine in you. Yes, I'm doing very well. I told you that I was going to have an experiment for you. Are you are you ready? Are you feeling nervous? All right, I'm ready. I'm excited. I guess I'm excited. Let me first ask you, have you ever been on the dating app Tinder before? Yes. Okay, so how was it? As a woman, did you get lots of matches? Did lots of men try and talk to you? Uh, yes. Yes, lots of men. What I want to do today is I want to swap your gender. I want to see what it's like if a woman is put into the shoes of a man. So, Good luck. So I'm gonna send you a couple of photos of myself and I want you to create a dating profile as a man. <laughs> and I want you to see if you can get a woman to go on a date with you. I want you to chat up women and I want you to report back to me what your experience is like as a man on this dating app. Now you would think some people that, oh, well, she's a woman, so she knows what women want. So when you first hear the experiment, what are you thinking? What's what's coming to mind? If I'm going to put your pictures, I mean, your looks are good, you're attractive. So that will be easy, like, to match with uh, with women. Uh, because they will instantly... You think well, I'm not a gay guy, so I wouldn't know about that. Uh, because they will instantly you think it'll be easy? look at that. Yeah, because of, yeah, because of your looks. I like that we've got an experiment and you've got a hypothesis. I would say it's a fair experiment because, yeah, I look at both of them, the two average looking people. Very So it's not like he's like, you know, Quasimodo and she's like princess, you know, I don't know, whatever the Disney princess is in fashion at the moment, Elsa or whatever. Um, but, you know, they're, they're two normal average looking people. So this this is a fair experiment, I would say. But in an experiment and you've got a hypothesis which says that you're going to get a lot of matches based on my appearance. I promise I'll send you some good photos of myself, or at least I'll try and find some. I don't take particularly good photos. Let me ask photos. you something. Do you have one without a shirt or something? Uh, I'm just Nobody kidding. wants to see that. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I don't think that you're going to get that many matches. I think that you're going to struggle. I'm not doing any false humility. I understand I'm reasonably like okay to look at, like I'm probably above average, but I think that you're still going to find a lot of difficulty. I'm going to give you, let's say, a week, a week's time. I want you to try and match with as many women as... Also, I bet she could doll the photos up as much as possible, like Photoshop them, put filters on, do whatever the fuck you like. It won't make much of a difference. ...as possible. Okay, this will be fun. <laughs> I'm excited for this. <laughs> it will make a difference, but it won't make much of a difference. Excited for this. <laughs> I, th I think so too. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I don't think that she realizes how difficult this is going to be. The next step is I need to find some photos to send her. I have no idea what people put on their tin. In the same way that like when women say, oh, you've got no idea what it's like to give birth to a child. That's absolutely true. And you've got no idea what it's like to be on a date net if you're a man. Photos, but I'm not going to do a topless shot. I don't think I have a topless shot. Okay, so I think I've chosen the three photos that I want to send her. I'll show you. I've got this one that seems pretty standard, it's just a photo of me looking at a camera. Uh, I chose this one, it's from a few years ago. Now, so you look at that photo. Now, obviously this is a professional photo. It's been, you know, his eyes are lit up. It's It's been, it's, his hair looks darker and like, you can see between what it looks like in the video in this photo that it is him, but it's an amplified version of him. So he's giving himself the benefit of the doubt. He's probably going up a, a, a sexual market value point or two but it still won't make much of a difference. I'm very good at online dating. I used to go on like two dates a day. So I'll, I'll just give my quick analysis of this. So that first photo was very good. It was very startling. It sticks out, very poignant. This second one is also a good photo. He's out and about doing stuff, looks very natural and casual. It doesn't look like he's trying hard to pose for the camera. 
Yet even still, if you take these two photos and put them online dating and you get a girl who's nowhere near as thoughtful of this with the presentation of herself, she's still going to get a lot more likes. Even if she's not as good looking as him in terms of the female equivalent, even if she's not even bothered trying to take a good photo, she's still going to get a huge amount more likes and swipes and interest than he will at his best, even though in terms of sexual market value, he's higher than her. And you'll see why, hopefully, if this uh, goes the way I'm thinking it's going to go. On like a boat cruise that I took. And this one is kind of just to troll her a little bit, make it a little bit harder. Um, it's from a community dance project. Yeah, but again, that's still good. It shows, oh, what's he doing there? It's intriguing. It's very intriguing. And people, uh, you know, women like stories. And so picture speaks a thousand words and that captures your imagination goes oh what's he doing there it's it's very cute makes someone curious community dance project that i did a couple of years ago but it's a pretty strange photo so i think she'll have fun trying to explain that one to potential oh so yeah three good photos there matches <laughs> all right i'll just send them through to her now what and is she allowed to write her own profile and you're not going to tell her what so she's good so he's sending the photos but what she's going to do her own profile Sell, selling him and she's gonna do what the text engagement i don't i don't see this going well at all she doesn't have any training for this good luck so i just talked to alexander and he basically wants me to be a man and to go on tinder and to get some girls to go on a date with me but with his pictures now i'm just thinking about the story i need to invent i want to prepare a few points just for the conversation to be more natural i want to like be very direct but also smooth in the approach oh she thinks that she's gonna have an opportunity to approach she thinks that people are actually message her She'll think that people will actually like her. Now, to be fair, like when you first get on uh, Tinder and these other dating apps, they do put you right out there. They get you on as many people as possible so that you get some likes and all that back so that you think, oh, people out there like me. It's the same with anything. It's like a free sample. It piques your interest, but then it drops down and it goes to standard normal, which is, well, you'll see. But these, these dating companies do that to guys, so, so it hooks them in. It's like giving away a free sample. I've never done this, but most men have to pay the money in order to get in front of women on the dating app so that they're put to the top of the pile so that they can then be rejected. So yeah, let's see how this goes. So I already put his pictures on Tinder and I invented some bio, just some simple stuff. Hi, my name is Alex. I live and work in Lisbon as a psychologist, looking for a nice lady to develop a meaningful relationship with and enjoy the pleasures of life. It's simple. It's oh my God, that's terrible. It's good. And yeah, it's terrible. It's all about him. There we go. I'm going to start doing some matches. I'm just going to criticize the bio a little bit just to give you an, a taste of why the, what her natural instincts to because she's thinking like a woman. She's thinking about herself. <laughs> I can't say that <laughs> because she's thinking like a woman. She's thinking like, oh, hi and introducing herself. But it doesn't work like that. Like, let's I'm just so I'm just going to criticize uh, constructively profile that she's wrote out and why it just wouldn't work so let's have a listen to it hi my name is alex i leave hi my name is alex right there's no need to use the word hi because it's not a real conversation my name is alex again alex is already when you go on tinder or bumble or whatever it is you go on it's already got your name there so so far she's bored hi my name is alex i live and work in lisbon as a psychologist now you live and work in lisbon again the location is on the app so, you know, you're four miles away or five miles away. So this is totally relevant information. And work in Lisbon as a psychologist. Looking yeah, psychologist, that might, you know, feign a bit of interest. But to be honest, you're talking about yourself. Girls aren't interested in you. For a nice lady to develop a meaningful relationship with and enjoy the pleasure. You're stating your intentions. So you're not a mystery. There's no curiosity. It's all about you. You're not saying what you're looking for in a woman. Of life. It's simple. It's good. Again, it's all about you still. There's nothing in there that makes her laugh. There's nothing in there that's intriguing. There's nothing in there that will captivate her or want her to know more. It's just a very plain, boring, all about you, egotistical profile. I, I'm not, And I'm not being harsh. You would think that that's the thing to write. 
in that situation. Watch his rogue is fantastic for like a business meeting or a networking meeting, something like that, where you get up and introduce yourself. But it's not good for a dating profile as a man. There we go. I'm going to start doing some matches. This is day three of Tinder operation. Ooh. And it's going well. On the first day, we only got five matches. And I was like... That's a lot. I was stressing out. I was just like, this is going to be much harder than what I was thinking. I mean, I thought this was going to be like easy peasy, okay. I'm going to text these women and these women are going to want to go on a date with me. And I'm going to match a lot. And that didn't happen. On the oh, poor you. The group of five... There was one that was, that was like really gorgeous. Another one that I don't know why the hell did she match with me? I mean, the whole conversation was just pure pain, pure agony. She was like, and you know, you should feel good about yourself. The fact that you're having a conversation with a woman on a dating app. That's you. You've done a lot there. You've ticked a lot of the boxes. You've done very well. So don't be so hard on yourself. It was like answering with two or three words in each message. And I was like, why? Stop this! Stop! I asked her to, if she wanted to go on a date with me, she was lucky that I asked her because she was being literally like pain. I asked if she wanted to go on a well, What did you ask her then? With me, and she was like, no, but thanks. Ah, <sighs> get the hell out of here. I mean, I was just like, <laughs> why? Day two, I was blown away. I mean, I was like, oh. This is it. This is the real deal. We got more 28 matches. 28, it's a lot. Let's be honest here. On average, those women were not that good looking. I'm not being selective. And I think that's a problem here. I'm just swiping like a maniac and see what I can get. I don't think I should do that anymore. I wanted to... Yeah, it's a bit like fishing. You know, you're doing it one way. It should really be done another way. You're throwing a net out. It should really be like a traditional fisherman. Get a bit of bait there, throw it out, reel her in. Try a different approach. I want to be more selective and I'm... Well, even then, it really doesn't matter what you do, but it is better to be selective. I'm going to try to think more like a man. Let me try to pick and swipe the most beautiful... How are you going to think more like a man? women that appear. I want the more attractive ones and I want to see that if I'm not that selective can I get as many matches? So here's the Tinder account. I don't know exactly what this is but this is like I think there are a lot of women that are liking me. This is like has 17.5 here. I don't know what that is but yeah here's the chat. Here are all the women I've been texting. I just want to go like with very gorgeous ones and I just want to see if I can match with them. Uh, so I think this one is very agreeable. I think this one too. I'm going to put a like on her and it's a match. Good. I'm going to text her saying hi. How are you? And let's continue. Julia, I think. Hi, how are you? I don't know what to say. Hi, how are you? I don't, again, I don't mean to criticise this lady. She's trying and she's doing what most people would think. Oh, it's common sense. You just write, hi, how are you? And start a conversation. But that doesn't work with women on online dating. And let's continue. Julie, I think this Julie is very gorgeous too. This one, very gorgeous. Oh, this one is interesting. It's like a booty pic. I don't know why. We have some more skin. So yeah, let's just put a like on this one too. And it's a match. I and one of the good things to realise is that, because if you are a guy on a dating app or something like that, and you think, oh shit, I'm getting all this, you think you might take it like personally, and it's got nothing to do with you. It's not personal. I'm being more selective. I mean, this is going well. So I'm going to keep this, and I want to see what happens by the end of the day. So this is day five, and at this point, I am not motivated. I am not happy with the results. On day three, I got 13 matches. Yesterday I got... That's a lot of matches. Yesterday I got one, and today I got one. In the beginning, I had lots of matches, but I wasn't actually being selective. And let's be honest here, I was matching with women that were not that attractive. I was getting, like, uh, women on mid-30s higher. What amazing... No offense to the women above mid-30s me wasn't this decreased of matches was actually the replying i mean 
how can I get these women to go on a date with me if they don't even reply to me? I was so confused. I mean, if we match... <sighs> so much to teach you, young one. <laughs> so much to teach you. Why aren't we talking? I matched with so many and I got no response. I saw a lot of... I am shocked. ...of like Instagram stuff, follow me on Instagram. And I didn't thought this would happen. I didn't thought I would match and they wouldn't reply. From what I talked to my friends and maybe myself, that doesn't happen if I matched like... The man doesn't reply to me. Like, that doesn't happen. If I compare an, an experience that a woman has on a dating app and that a man has on a dating app, it's much different. And it's weird that I struggle so much and that if I change, like, the picture to a woman, I don't struggle at all. I didn't thought this would be like this because I find Alex, in terms of uh, looks, good-looking and interesting. I put he was a damn psychologist. That's super interesting. I don't know if people get depressed after being on a dating app, but I don't know. I just feel like down at this point. I don't know why I feel down. It's not even me. This is not very healthy, is it? There are maybe some psychological effects from this whole thing. I mean, I'm down now and it's not even my damn picture and my damn... Because the more people you swipe as well, especially when you're not being picky, the more you get rejected, the more you feel shit by yourself. So that's, that's one of the reasons why it's important to be selective and only go after what you want. Don't play the numbers game. Don't go after what you don't want. Because you don't want to go after what you don't want as well. Set your own criteria. you got to make the game work for you. And the way of making the game work for you is by not playing the game. I'm live, but I'm down. I really thought I would get a better response. I mean, I just don't know. I thought this was going to be more easy. Like, oh, I really wasn't expecting this. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> All right, guys, it has been a week since I gave Sada this Tinder challenge experiment. I have no idea if it's been a failure or a success, but I'm going to call her now and we'll find out what the result is. Yeah, let's see if she's been on a date. Hey, Sada, I am very curious to hear how you got on. Have you had a good week or a bad week with Tinder? Was it a success or a failure? I think it was a failure. I had like lots of expectations on what would go on and what would like happen and it was like the complete opposite in terms of matching i got some success but then the replying was a nightmare i just think it's a little bit difficult for me to invite what you mean they didn't do it they ghosted you they left you simmering hmm. them to go on a date with me if they don't even reply and this happened like a lot a lot okay so we've got lua hi lua you're right and you got no reply yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. You see, it's weird because people talk about male privilege. How do you mean? Much. I don't know why she matched with me. This is my brain. My brain is like, why the hell did you match if you're not going to reply? Thanks. Thanks a lot. Gabriella. Hi, Gabriella. No reply. Same thing again. Madalena. Uh, Como estas, Madalena? And then no reply. Maria, how are you? No reply. <laughs> I'm sorry. And again, this is no offense to her. She's done everything that you would expect a normal person to do. Like, this is, hi, this is who I am. And start a conversation. Hi, how are you? Da, 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 da. But that doesn't work with women on online dating apps. Melissa, and how are you? No reply. I'm certainly picking up a trend here. Vanessa didn't reply. And this is a, a woman talking to a woman. And all she's done is just like, so you can see how women treat women differently to how they treat men. And this is somebody that they've already liked and swiped on. Elizabeth didn't reply. I struggled. Even in the conversations, I had like to lead the conversation. Some of them put zero effort. In the last days, I was like, I hate this. I don't want to do this again. At least you now have an idea of what it's like for just average guys. Yeah, and this is just a very basic level. There's loads of layers. So there's not just ghosting, there's simmering, there's leading on, there's friend zone. There's, there's all sorts of layers that you've got to go through in order to just go out on a date with somebody and uh, be with a woman. Average guys every single day on these apps. It's so, it's so hard for them and it really eats away at your self-esteem. Yeah, but I thought you weren't like average. I said you were like a psychologist. You had like very good pictures. I, I... Doesn't matter. 
I didn't understand what was like the problem. It's weird to me, this whole thing, it's weird because guys don't do this on dating apps. They just don't stop replying. They don't do that. Like they don't ghost. Maybe not with you, but maybe some guys with some girls. But I know what you're saying and you are right, disproportionately so. And it's weird that women do that so often. You know how you said at the beginning that it was uh, easier to get matches and then it was difficult to get replies or as many matches. I hate to burst your bubble as well, but when you first create a Tinder algorithm, uh, sorry, uh, when you first create a Tinder account, the algorithm pushes your new account into lots of different people's faces so that you can get a bunch more matches so that initially you get that dopamine hit that says, wow, this app really, really works. And it hooks you in thinking, ah, oh, yes, this is good. And so lots of people don't realize that. They think, oh, I had success at one point, but it was, it was just at the beginning. Once the Tinder algorithm starts to assign you like a hidden value, then you start to get matches according to your actual kind of um, desirability on the app. And it starts to go way, way, way down. So even that initial success that, you're, you're, that you got on the app, that wasn't really due to anything. That was completely artificial. Yeah. That makes sense because today I got zero matches. Yesterday one, the other day one, and I just feel like they're the yeah, and that even still one a day is a lot. If you because you get a hundred free swipes a day, so assuming that they haven't paid, then one swipe in a hundred is very good. One, and I just feel like Tinder is just unfair as hell. This is all very weird reality, and maybe I was like ignorant. I didn't know this was like this. I just feel sorry for like guys and stuff like no i don't i don't think this is good for anyone really but it's it's what women decide let me ask you this when you began the experiment did you think that you would have a bit of an edge being a woman and thinking i know what women are looking for i'm going to be able to talk to them in like an easy way were you confident again she's thinking that she'd get the opportunity to talk to them. easy way were you confident, confident going, going in that, in that you'd have, have the skills, skills to be able, able to make, make these women attracted, women attracted to you yeah. yeah this is what it's like for a woman it's a bit like going to a martial arts class and going hi -ya! and having a partner to play with to sort of like roll around on the floor with and ha oh, i can take you down now if you go out into the real real world you're like oh i know how to fight but in the real world a real fight isn't like that. Women, when they set up a dating app as a guy, have this kind of false confidence. And the algorithm will even trick you in the beginning to think, oh yeah, see, I've got this. But give it give it a week and see how you get on. I was like, I know what they want to hear. I know what they want. I was so confident. I, I was so confident. I was like, I know what they want. I know what they want to hear. <laughs> I'm going with some pretty good messages. And it's going to work out but it didn't i'm so confused yeah again it doesn't it, on a dating app it doesn't matter who you are i i don't know <laughs> i don't know about anything anymore i was with a woman mindset i thought what happens to a woman in a dating app would actually happen to a man i was like meaningful relationship <clears throat> not even a damn meaningful relationship these women want <laughs> what my friends can tell me the experience but we can't really feel the whole thing we can feel a little bit we have empathy of course that's what i'm saying that's what i said earlier with the um you know the pregnancy thing or having periods or whatever it's sort of like you can empathize but only to a certain degree because you don't really know what that person's feeling of course but once we are actually in the situation it's much different and we can actually feel the maybe what some guys feel and it's not good it's not a good experience for me it's it's very good to go through this really because i'm getting more i'm just expanding my awareness of everything would you encourage other women to do this experiment to just try creating a male dating profile on tinder just to see what it's what it's like do you think that would be a valuable experience for women to go through of course of course absolutely they should feel this they should know like this is see i don't agree i think there's a lot of things that men have to put up with that women will never understand or even care about and if they do again there's nothing they can really do about it so in the same way like with men with women it's like there's a lot of stuff that women experience that man will just never understand so um i don't think there's any need for a woman to do this 
just just to see, just to not ghost, just to stop some actions. Maybe this will make them act a little bit. No, because now they're putting on a front, like female sexual selection, and this has got nothing to do with the individual woman. But like I say, female sexual selection is like a an underlying algorithm in nature, and it doesn't care. It's very and it's and it's and it's brutal, and I think by being more nice and empathetic and understanding you don't it's not going to help anything i will probably on my own just say to my friends oh, why don't you do this just for a day or two just see what happens thank you to sada for her contribution to this experiment and it's brutal for a reason and there's very good reason for it to be brutal and men have to it's like in a, a real fight they have to really fight and it's the same, like, this is life. And you being able to find somebody that you love, who, who can love you and you can have a family or, or do whatever, get married or whatnot, um, it, it's a brutal game for men. It's not the same brutal game for women. It's brutal. It, it's difficult for women in other ways. And each sex has their own challenges. So... There's no need for a woman to under there's no need for a woman to understand because it doesn't make it any easier. And thank you to all of the women who watch this channel, taking the time to empathize with the difficulties that men face in the dating market, understanding things from the male point of view. If you enjoyed Sada's contribution to this video, I did. I thought she did very well. And you'd like to see more experiments with Sada, please comment below, especially if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see. This video was shortened down for YouTube. The final debriefing conversation with Sada went for a full half hour. And okay, so we've just seen how difficult it is for guys doing online dating. Uh, just even trying to get a match, trying to get a response, trying to keep a conversation going. This is just all before you even get to asking them out on a date and that kind of stuff. Now, personally, I was in a long-term relationship for about nine years. And then when I came out of that relationship, I was on the dating scene and this new tinder thing was all kind of like new to me and stuff like that and i i was very much in the dark about what to do and it took me a couple of months but like i eventually come up with a, a system for myself where i was going on two or three dates a day so i'd book one date for the lunch time one date for the afternoon and one date for the evening so i got very good at online dating and i may do a course on this helping guys get dates on tinder or bumble or whatever it is because i think that it's important as a man to be able to have options because if you don't have options then you're just going to settle for people that you're not happy with and i think it's important that everybody should be in a relationship with somebody that they're happy with and it's disproportionately harder on men like it's so easy for women to get dates with online dating but even though they can get lots of dates, the quality necessarily isn't that great. They don't get good quality guys on there. And there's a lot of good quality guys that don't get dates because of the way that the algorithm works, because the way that women are on uh, dating apps, because they've had bad experiences and they project and all this kind of stuff. So if anyone's interested, um, I haven't made it yet, but I might put a video together or a little course or something on how to get success on online dating um if i do make a course or a video or something it'll be for sale and um i'll put it in the link in the description below because like i say i got very good at it and my openers worked i got results i got conversations going i got people interested i went out on several dates i didn't mess around i got pretty good at dating in general you so if you are a guy watching this and you're struggling with online dating the other thing I will say as well is that it's not just a case of a pickup line. It's not something, oh, these words will work. I don't want to sound like one of these videos, like say this to her and she'll say yes. It's not like that. So the video will go into, well, this is what to say, which is a little bit of it. But then I'm going to explain the underlying ethos of it and the philosophy and how you should embed that software into your character be a, a rooted video it's not like just going to be one of these videos where say this to her and she'll be yours kind of a thing it's not like that it's about giving 
yourself the best chance of finding the best person for you. So if you're interested in this idea that I've got, comment below and let me know. Yeah, also other than that, yeah, very good video.